Hello. It's been like 16 days since my last upload after daily uploading the leagues for a month straight. So, uh, I'm sorry about that. I could give you guys a long spill, but I'll keep it short and simple. I was getting unlucky on the league and pretty burnt out. And then I went to a 50 cent concert on Thursday, the 14th of December, which is now over two weeks ago, which was amazing. And I had a really good time, but then I re got really sick right after that. and basically only logged into woodcut here or there. And then I just decided I'm good on that. I logged out and went to bed indefinitely. So much of the league comes down to RNG, and those of you who watched me play the last league knew I pretty much could have won the entire thing. I was ranked 2 for almost the entire league, and then in the final two weeks, I spent the entire time killing Ancient Wyverns for a Wyvern Shield, which was a 1 in 3k drop, and it took me like 14,000 Wyverns for it, and it killed my entire drive and all my rankings, just like this one. So after basically a month of this league being out, I quit. And I promise you I'm a million times happier for it. The 50 cent concert was lit. I spent a bunch of time at my friend's family house for Christmas. And it's about to be New Year's, which is going to be even more fun. So yeah. Sorry to you guys who wanted to see me play the league through. But honestly, I cannot be fucked anymore. I know the majority of you guys would have preferred me to quit and just be happy anyway. So you know, I'm doing it for you guys. I do really appreciate all the support over the past month. It's been incredible. And there's only one thing left to do. And that is spend all my league points that I've saved up over the past three leagues. I've never spent a single one, so I'm about to be a RuneScape billionaire. So the worlds are pretty dead now, but I'm just going to log in and see how much time played I have over the duration of all the leagues. This is going to be a very disgusting number. 128 days, 16 hours. Now I only played Trailblazer League 1, which was 9 weeks long, so just over 2 months. I played Shatter Relics League, which is 2 months long as well. And obviously I played this one, but I only really realistically played for a month. So that's around five months of time. So around 150, 160 days of time. And I've played 128 days, 16 hours out of that time. That is absolutely disgusting. Let's go see how much money and how much GP per hour this comes out to. So 128 days and 16 hours is 3,088 hours. So it's just over 128 days, obviously. Let's log into the main game and let's get some rewards. I have 224,450 league points. Also guys, one last time, didabitter.com to buy my merch. The support this league has been incredible and I'm not going anywhere. 2024 is going to be an even bigger year for me on YouTube, so stay tuned. Over 60 people have already bought my merch, so go to didabitter.com, pick yourself up something, and you can even send me a pic of you with it to me on Twitter or in my Discord or something. I really love seeing people with my merch. Thank you guys once again. Promise, last plug of the year, because it's the last video of the year. If you divide the amount of league points I've had from three leagues over the hours I've played, it comes out to every hour on leagues I've played, I've gained 72 league points. Obviously, it's a bit different because on each league, the amount of points per hour is different. I think on the Shattered Relics League, all the points are like half, so it's a lot harder to get points on that one. And obviously, there's a bunch of AFK time in there, but that is just crazy to think about every single hour I've played logging on leagues has come out to around 72, 73 points per hour. Today's video is once again sponsored by our good friends over at Manscaped, and they're here to wish you a Merry Balsamus. They want you to step into 2024 with confidence, and I'm here to tell you that the perfect gift for yourself does exist. Their new Performance Package 5.0 Ultra, featuring the new Lawnmower 5.0. Watch all your wishes and mistletoe kisses come true, and look nice when you're going naughty by going to manscaped.com and using the code DITTER20 for 20% off plus free shipping. I've been using Manscaped and the lawnmower for years, and this Performance Package 5.0 Ultra has it all. Included is the lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, the Weed Whacker 2.0 Ear and Nose Trimmer, Manscaped's Liquid Formulations, and two free gifts. The lawnmower and Weed Whacker feature advanced skin safe technology to protect your delicate presence, and they're both waterproof, so there's no issue clearing the snow out of your driveway. The Crop Soother Aftershave Lotion and the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant will be so nice on your sack that you'll never go back. And the gifts don't stop there. They comes with the premium boxes and the shed travel bag as well. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code DITTER20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. And use code DITTER20. So you can actually buy rewards from any of the leagues. I didn't play the first league, nor do I actually really ever get any of the awards. This is the first time I've even collected the trophies, but I can still buy all the rewards for the Twisted League, which is pretty cool. Obviously all the Trailblazer ones and the Shadow Relic ones and the Trailblazer League Reloaded, which probably has some of the coolest ones. I really like the Bulwark Ornament Kit. 
As per the wiki, the Trailblazer Reloaded Bulwark Ornament Kit is actually one of the worst things to buy. It's only 37 GP per point as it costs 10,000 points. The best thing to buy is... let me find out. It looks like the number one thing to buy is the Twisted Relic Hunter Tier 1 kit. So is that from the first ever one? It's the 1,000 points. Apparently this is 903 GP per point. I'm going to buy one of them. Ooh, I'm going to have to make it into a set or something. Shattered Relic Hunter Tier 1 kit is 909 GP per point. So it's six more GP. Something tells me this is going to be a little bit tedious, and I'm not talking I'm by packing it up and all selling it, but let's see how it goes. Surely I can make this into a set. Pack. But can I not pack the Twisted Coat? Where is it? Oh, it's there. Okay, let's see how much this sells for. Ooh, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Let's just insta-sell, because we need to know for the future. Oh my god. That's really not looking good. This is all based off the wiki, right? I guess there's a lot of people selling this kind of stuff. I've got to I've got to see what the actual price is. It's not even selling for 300k. What did I get all these points for? I've been slaving away. 100k. Okay, that went for 202k. And that went for 111k. So, that is clearly not 900 GP per point. It is a lot less. But out of the two, we would sell the Twistic Relic Hunter kit. Okay, it shows the Shattered Relic Hunter Tier 3 kit as 792 GP per point. Um, it shows the Trailblazer Relic Hunter Tier 1 kit as 765 GP per point. But obviously, well, that was not the case with what just happened. So what am I going to buy? It also shows the Trailblazer Reloaded Relic Tier 1 kit as... Um, where is it? Trailblazer... 1000. This shows as 778 points per one. So let's just see what sells for the best. Shattered Relic Tier 3 Hunter Kit. I'm going to buy one of those. Because that seems to be 792 GP per point. Which could be very, very good. Oh, and it gives you the cane as well. The Shattered Relic Hunter Tier 1 Kit is apparently 900 GP per point. But I doubt things are going to get sold with that. So we'll see. I'm suspecting that the Trailblazer Tier 1 Kit will be the most. For the most recent leagues, the Tier 3 Kit is only showing as 211 GP per point. So we'll see what the Tier 1 Kit sells for. Do I have some guy? Hey, Ditter, I like all your vids. You are a YouTuber. Yes, I am a YouTuber. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Shout out to RZ Rajput. What a guy, dude. What a guy. All right, let's pack all these things up. Trailblazer Tier 1 Armor Kit does not insta-sell either. Let's put it in for 200k. Surely it sells for more than that. Oh my goodness gracious, boys. The wiki is lying. The wiki is lying. 109k. Oh my god, this one has its price as 11 mil. Of course... Whoa, whoa, whoa! It sold for 6.5 mil. Whoa, wait, how many, how many points did I spend? How much did that cost? Shattered Relic Tier 3 Armor Set. It cost 15,000 points, and it gave me 6.6 .6 mil. But the GE price is 11.8 mil, so that's still not a lot of points. Yeah, this price tag, this is only 438 GP per point. Okay, I've also got to sell the Shattered Cane because it's a part of the Tier 3 armor set. So it's another 1 mil on top of that. So i got to add that to my calculations. Okay, so as it currently stands, the Shattered Relic Tier 3 armor set was the best. I got 510 GP per point for that. And as you can see for the tier 1 armor sets, I got 111, 109, and 202 GP per point. But there's still things on the wiki that show that it's more than 510 GP per point. But I doubt it's going to sell for the actual price. But we're going to try it out. So far though, the Shattered Relic tier 3 armor set is the best. Okay, the Shattered Relic tier 2 armor set is showing for 722 GP per point. I doubt it's going to sell for the exchange price. But if it does, that's going to be the best one. The tier 2 set is also worth quite a bit, 722 GP per point, but I really doubt that's going to sell either, but we're going to try it out. Stuff that looks like it could be quite good is the Trailblazer rug, 661 GP per point. The Trailblazer teleport scroll, where's that at? Trailblazer teleport scroll, 639 GP per point. The Shattered Relic uh, Cannon Ornament Kit, pack of four. Nice, that is apparently 636 GP per point. And then there's a pack of six, the Void Ornament Kit. Let's try that one. And then our inventory should be semi-full, semi so we can see how much GP we made from each of these. 
I bought two tier two armor sets. I don't know why I did that. But yeah, it's definitely not going to be the right one. One mil, maybe? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, who the hell is buying Shattered Relic tier two armor sets? I sold one for 900k, actually. That is very surprising. Um, what's the other one going to sell for? I guess I didn't even sell one. I put it in for 800k. Oh my god, it's not even selling at all. Are there any offers in? Someone's merching the hell out of me, dude. I just sold one for 900k and one for 100k. Let's see the Trailblazer teleport scroll. 299k. Let's see the Trailblazer rug. Let's see. Come on. 1.4 mil. Oh my days. Okay. None of this is none of this is going well. What about the shattered cannon kits? Not so much. 300k out of that maybe. 1.5 mil, 400k each. And we'll put this in for 300k as well. The six of them. Ooh, that insta sold. Okay, for 530k. That seems to be pretty decent. Let's calculate. So here we can see the new calculations. The Shadow Relic Tier 2 armor set. Still only 333 GP per point. One sold for 900k and one sold for 100k. So it's an average of 500k each. But obviously, I don't think I'm going to sell it anymore if I buy it anymore. The Trailblazer Teleport Skull was 300 GP per point. Same with the rug, it's around 300 as well. The cannon kits was 348, and the void ornament kits was 494 GP per point. Almost 500. But as it still stands, the best thing is still the Shadow Relic Tier 3 armor set, because you get the set and the cane, and it's like 10 more, 20 more GP than the void ornament kit. I'm going to see if there's anything better, but there might not be. So here are all the awards. We're currently trying to find something that's better than 510 GP per point. But obviously, these things aren't very accurate because the GE prices aren't accurate. But let's try. We'll buy the Twisted Teleport Skull. I think we already got the Twisted Armor set, so we're not going to try that. Uh, maybe the Twisted Blueprints for, for some reason will sell for more. Who knows? We tried the Trailblazer Rug. Didn't work. The Teleport Skull didn't work. The Globe we haven't tried, so I guess we'll do that. Because it's 554 GP. So it could be better. We did the Relic Hunter. We did the Cannon, obviously. We did the Relics. Um, the Shadow Teleport Skull we haven't tried, so we'll definitely do that. What else could there potentially be that's over 510? These are just about above 510, but I doubt the Twisted Relic Hunter kit will sell. But we'll see, because if it does, then we'll make more money off of that. We can try the Trailblazer Relic Hunter kit as well, see if that sells. We could try the Shattered Relic. I think I did that already, though. But let's just go see what we're going to try. I'm going to buy the Trailblazer Relic Hunter Tier 1 kit, not the reloaded one. Because if that does sell for the right price, it'll be 765 GP per point. I'm going to buy the Twisted Relic Tier 3 Hunter Kit, because if that sells for the right price of 6.4 mil, it's 640 GP per point. 10k points right there. We're going to get the Shattered Teleport Scroll, see if that sells for exchange price, because if it does, it's 604 GP per point. I didn't do the Trailblazer Globe, and if it sells for the right price, it's 554, so it's still good enough. I don't think I did the Twisted Teleport Scroll either, which is 626 GP per point, so we can try that. And we'll try the Twisted Blueprints as well. Alright, let's go see what all this sells for. Never add these guys, by the way, or search their YouTube terms. They're scammers. Alright, the moment of truth. What is everything going to sell for? Nope. Let's put this in for a lot lower price. Damn it. Oh my god, okay. This is not the move, boys. This is not the move. I'm sure there's a way I could have checked this without beta testing it myself, but hey. It is what it is. 4.2 mil, I don't think that is going to be too luxurious for us. Um, what will the cane sell for as well? Oh dear. Oh dearie me. 400k. Shadow teleport scroll. Surely people think this is cool. Nope. What about the twisted teleport scroll? I'll just put that in for 100k. 272k for that one. 320k for that one. Ooh, 1.3 mil for that one, but maybe that was like a good price. Who knows? Who knows? And we'll put the blueprints in for 1.6 mil. Okay, let's do some calculations. Let's figure out which is the best. So after selling all of those and doing the calculations, it still seems like the Shadow Relic Tier 3 armor set is the best at 510 GP per point. Coming up second, it looks like the Twisted Tier 3 armor set, because with the cane, I got 469 GP per point. The Twisted Teleport Skull was 363, 
The Shadow Teleport Scroll was 321. The Trailblazer Globe was only 346. The Trailblazer Globe was only 346. And the Twisted Blueprints were 409 GP per point. So not bad either, but it still seems that the Shadow Relic Tier 3 armor set, if I can sell it for the same things as I did last time, is the best. Obviously this league that's still going on is the Trailblazer Reloaded League, so you'd think the rewards from this would be the most expensive. But as you can see, the GP per point for the Tier 3 Relic Hunter is only 46 GP per point. I wonder if that's how much it would actually sell for. Let's find out. Understandably, these are the most expensive and I guess everyone would buy them, so it's not the best GP per point. But hey, it doesn't seem to sell for what the wiki says it sells for, so let's see how much we could get from it. Maybe the whole time we should have been buying Tier 3s of this one. Let's buy one and let's see how much GP this gets us. It only shows 211 GP per point, so we're really going to need to beat it. Alright, moment of truth. Insta sells for 5.8 mil. The Torch Insta sells for 860k. So this is the total value we got from that kit, and if you divide it by 18,000, which is how much it costed, it still only comes out to 373 GP per point, so it's still not worth it. So at the end of this, it really just comes down to two things. The Shattered Relic Void Ornament Kit, which is 449 GP per point, and the Shattered Relic Tier 3 Armor Set, which is 510 GP per point. But that was just off selling one, which I think there might be less demand for this, whereas the Void Ornament Kit, people like Void, people use Void, um, maybe that's going to be the safer option. I'll buy one Relic Tier Hunter kit and I'm going to spend the rest on Void and we'll see which one turns out better. We'll do another comparison of these two. 12 for 6.3 mil. All those 12 Void Ornament sets we just sold right now came out to 485 GP per point. So 10 GP less per point than we did last time. But I'm very interested to see what this comes out to this time. 5.7 mil. Tossed us in for 300k. 1 mil, god damn. So yeah, I initially sold the first Shattered Relic Tier 3 Hunter Kit for 6.5 mil, and the one I just sold was for 5.7 mil, only coming out to 457 GP per points in total. So just spending all the money on the Void Ornament Kits and selling it like that is going to be the best decision. So let's go do that. 115,700 points to spend. Let's go crazy. Ooh, they didn't insta-sell. But it was still only for 20k less than before, not 1 mil less. Okay, this should be my last inventory. I don't know if I, I won't actually be able to buy the third one. So what's the best thing to buy? That is the question. The Twisted Blueprints aren't bad. It was 409 GB per point. And then I got 1.2K left. Um, I will get a Twisted Teleport Scroll. And I don't know that I can buy anything else. All right, let's sell everything. We'll sell this Twisted Teleport Scroll for whatever it sells for. 272K. And we'll sell the Blueprints for whatever it sells for as well. 1.6 mil. I don't know if these 86 Void Ornament Kits are going to insta-sell. I really doubt it, but let's put it in. Okay, yeah, obviously not because I've just dumped a bunch on the market. But with all the points and all the cash that we do have, we have 54 mil. And if I sell each one of these Shadow Relic Void Ornament Kits for 500k each, it'll only give me 43 mil. So 54 plus 43 mil is 97 mil. From 200 and... 40,000 league points, 220,000 league points. I can't remember exactly what I started with. So I made a total of 97 million once these Void Ornament Kits sell. And I have 224,450 league points, which I started that with. So if you divide it by that, it comes out to 432 GP per league point I ever got. And I'm pretty sure I was getting 73 league points an hour. So over the course of 128 days and 3,088 hours, I was making 31k an hour, 31.5k OSRS GP an hour while playing leagues. Pretty profitable if you ask me. Times this number by 3,088, you get around 97 mil as well. That is ridiculous. That's it for me this year. I've spent 3,088 hours making 31,000 OSRS GP an hour. So I've really got to make some better life decisions and set myself some New Year's resolutions. I appreciate all the support from you guys this year. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to all of you. I hope you guys all have a safe new year and I'll see you in 2024. Buy my merch.